Hey everyone, Sam here, and this is the second video in our advanced prompt engineering video series. Today's video will be talking about how you can control the word length, the number of words that are in the generated output of your chat GPT or GPT-4 model. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the very first thing I'll start with is, let's say if I wanted to generate a blog post up of about 1,000 words. So let's try to keep a very simple prompt where we say something like, write a blog post in about, let's say, 1,000 words about the given topic. Right? And here, I'll give in my topic. So let's say my topic is AI in marketing. And I'll increase the max length a bit. My model is GPT-4 selected here and I'll just hit the submit button. So let's wait for it to write the full article. One thing you'll observe is it will not follow the word count that we mentioned. It would generate something like 500 to 700 words of text. And we'll be discussing about some of the techniques that we can use to control that length. Now, one thing there is about, you know, the current state of AI models or large language models, they don't tend to be reliable or accurate with the word counts so they don't really work well with word counts or character counts or token counts. They, did, they just don't understand it. But what you can do is you can describe things in terms of the number of sentences or paragraphs. I'll show that in a couple of minutes. So the AI has generated this article. Let's go to word counter and check how many words this is. So yeah, it's about 700 words, not quite exactly the thousand words that we wanted. Right, so I'll just delete this. Now, what we'll do is try something different here. So we'll try to specify how many headings or how many sections we want in our blog and how long would each section be. So that is how we'll try to control the length here. So first, this current prompt, I'll leave it as it is. But what I'll do is I'll write after that. So I'll say something like the blog should have about let's say five sections, right? So this would include five different headings or subheadings within our blog post. So five sections, and then I'll say something like each section should have at least three to four paragraphs. And each paragraph should have about, let's say four to five sentences as well. So what I'm doing here is, okay, we have specified 1000 words, but I'm also saying that you need to have five sections in this blog post. Each section will have three to four paragraphs, and each paragraph should have four to five sentences. So these large language models tend to understand the concept of the number of paragraphs or sentences much better than they do words or characters. So hopefully this will help us drive the model in the right direction. So let, let's see what comes out of it. So I, I'll again hit the submit button. All right, now let's check the word count again. So this is 659 words, still not what we wanted. So let's try to improve it even further. So now let's try enhancing the prompt a little bit further. So what we'll say here is instead of five sections, I'll say 10 sections and I'll say where each section should have, I would say, three paragraphs. And I would remove at least, I would just say should have three paragraphs. And each paragraph should have, let's say, at least five lines. Right, so what I'm saying is it should have 10 sections. Each section has three paragraphs and each paragraph should have at least five lines. Now let's try with this. All right, so now let's check the word length. So I'll copy and paste. There we go. So we have about 1,200 words now, which is much better than what we were getting before. So at least it has crossed that 1,000 word mark. Now again, a couple of other changes we can do here. So maybe instead of 10 sections, we can have eight sections, and that would help us bring the number of words down to about 1,000 words. All right, so just to summarize what we discussed in the video today, 
was for shorter text, you can of course specify the number of words in the prompt and it will try to follow that. But for longer things where let's say if you wanted to generate a blog post or you want to do let's say an email or a newsletter, those kinds of things, usually the model is not very accurate with following the word or the character counts. That is where some other kind of parameters like paragraphs or sections or the number of sentences or lines usually works. So like we just discussed, we specified how many sections we exactly want. And then for each of that section, we specified that each section should have three paragraphs and each paragraph then should have five lines. So that way it kind of tends to, because we are going in a step-by-step -step approach. So we sort of artificially can limit the model to kind of follow the guidelines that we have specified in terms of the response length. And yeah, of course you can play around with it and see what works because of course it depends on what you are exactly trying to generate. So sometimes word count might work, but for more complex cases, try to use some other metric like sections, paragraphs, or, or lines and go from there. So that was it for this video. I'll be back with another video on some other advanced prompt engineering technique. Till then, stay connected, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.